Hello and welcome to part I've forgotten which of me going through Elvis the Pelvis. Not literally though, because that would be a bit. Um, literally, if I'm going through the singles. Let's see which one shall I start with. Is this Elvis? Yeah. Okay. First up is Suspicious Minds. Now, with that one, I, when singing along with that, you know, I know, um, I tended to get the lyrics wrong, something about with an old friend I know, or something like that. I've forgotten what I used to think it was, though, because once, once you get the lyric right, it's sort of, I wouldn't get anything wrong, would I? Just check out one of the many blooper videos to find that's not exactly accurate. But I do remember that apparently he didn't like how there was that fade out and then the fade back in. I think it was to do with the lyrics of like, we're caught in a trap, I can't walk out, you know, being caught in a trap. So it fades out, but then it's like, oh, hang on, I'm caught in a trap, I can't walk out. So it fades back in again. A uh, bit cheesy, a bit hokey, and if you hear it on the radio, uh, they don't do that. It's either faded out early, I'm not really too sure, or I really sort of concentrate or really sort of notice is that it's not faded out on the on the radio. Yeah, it always seemed to... I, even, I remember when I first heard that, it was a bit like, mm -hmm. oh, all right, whatever. But I did, even then I did sort of get, oh, you're caught in a trap, all right. And speaking of suspicious minds, there was this sort of re-release with EPs, and this is one of them. They sort of like grabbed four songs, and here's an EP, and Suspicious Minds was the lead track. Um, one of the other tracks is You Don't Have to Say You Love Me, but I prefer the Dusty Springfield version than that. <laughs> I think Dusty's has got it all over Elvis, so sorry if you disagree with that. Um, for that version, that's version I mean. Yeah, I just saw it, and, and and actual fact, initially when I saw this, I was like, oh, okay, it's an, it's another, an alternate sleeve, but it turns out there was a, a bunch of these EPs that were released a number of years later, and um, I've got one of the others, I think Teddy Bear, I've got got a couple, couple of the others, just so totally random. <laughs> but I don't know why, but the colour, that weird sort of dark pink colour, I don't know why, that kind of appealed to me. <laughs> I suppose in some respects it would probably come as no surprise. Like, dark pink appealing to him? I'd be more surprised if it didn't. And speaking of uh, interesting colours, um, lovely green, hey? So you could say instead of appealing, it's appalling. <laughs> Appallingly appealing. Appealingly appalling. <laughs> well, one, one, one of them anyway. Though I suppose I could make it look even more green. There we go. Isn't that spectacular? Mind you, the B side is worse. <laughs> there you go. That just, yeah. I th I think that's probably enough now. <laughs> Where did they go, Lord? I don't know. Look over there. He's, in actual fact, if you look, he's, he's got his microphone, he's, where did they go? He's clearly wondering where they went. Either that or he's got his collar stuck in his sideburn or something. Those, those were the sorts of songs I really was not a fan of. I really, uh, once, once again, I sort of bought the, bought the single because I was a fan of the artist, not the song. And next up was one of his big ones, The Wonder of You. And uh, one of the very few, really, that have him not a live photo uh, on the front cover. It's an actual uh, photo of him in front of some roses and a painting. Well, that makes sense because Mama liked the roses, so he might as well sort of pose in front of them in a white suit, looking like he'd rather not be there. So do I have to stand in front of these roses? They're probably plastic anyway. I, I remember when I first heard this too, it was on the radio. I liked it straight away. It was just, again, it was just one of those songs you hear and you, I liked it straight away. There was no kind of like, mm, think twice. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. No, I, re I really liked that straight away. From a good cover to... Maybe his designers saw some of the Carpenters ones and actually thought, oh yeah, that's not a bad look. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, it was. Next up is until it's time for you to go. This is this one is a real fair. I really I just there's just something of, in the way that it's sung and everything with the. It's just really really lovely song and. Um, is it one of those overlooked ones that once once again there are some songs that radio probably should play they play Kentucky Rain and and stuff like that but then there are others that radio don't seem to really go yeah I could be wrong so like your station might be like <laughs> you you might prove that wrong the other thing I found with uh, with that is it's almost like a sentence it's like until it's time for you to go, we can make the morning. It's like, oh, chucking an all-nighter, are you? But it's just a really, really nice little song there. And I'll stay until it's time for you to go. So he's um, not making it about himself. He's making it about the person that um, he's with there. It's like, oh, well, I'll, until you want me to go, until you want me to rack off, you know, I'll stay here. <laughs> if you tell me to rack off, yeah, I'll... See you later. And next up is It's Only Love. Now, there's a few songs with that title, and I wonder if it's any of those. But now available, Elvis, The Other Sides. Oh, I wonder what sides they are. It sort of infers that they were um, B-sides. But I think it's more along the lines of sort of the, the sides of the records regardless. So it would have been the... The other sides that weren't on the previous greatest hits, perhaps, given that it's a volume two. I wonder what the sound of your cry means. Is that <laughs> is is that like <laughs> oh, <laughs> both of them could be similar, I suppose. Both would would bring tears to the eyes, wouldn't they? <laughs> in in different forms, but you know. <laughs> All right. On that note. <laughs> Um, um, hopefully you enjoyed this and if you did please do all the likes and subscribes and the bells and the whistles and the cry and uh, thank you very much for watching please take care and hopefully I shall see you in the next one ciao